Let's get going. Here is what I bought at Home Depot. I bought several different ones, and this is that wire mesh, this type of wire mesh with a very, very fine uh, screen in it. Then you get these plastic ones with also a wire mesh or a plastic mesh inside. And then you get this, uh, I don't know how they call it, gutter hood or gutter whatever it is. But I'm going to tell you what's from up to here. We have gutter guards, another mesh, that plastic rolls you buy. So from here to here is gutter guards. They, they, they go over the gutter. And what I don't like about them is the fact they have a very small screen on them. Very, very fine debris. Small debris gets stuck on this and eventually cannot get through and eventually it grows on top of here. So that's the problem with these ones. So let me show you what I what I think. Look how the debris already got stuck in there and you can see water flows over the gutter. The water flows over the gutter, but we can say you see how the debris collects here? It never come, it's not going to come off. It's going to get stuck in there. And then eventually fogs and makes this not as effective uh, filter. So you can see how debris pops or sits on top of this. Most companies will never show you that. They will only show you leaves that comes over, over like this. Leaves flowing over this. And then it works, but it, small debris is the problem. Leaves are not a problem in these uh, gutter guards, the covers on the guard. You can see the small debris is clogging this as well. So, and you can see water, you know, water gets through, but eventually this clogs up so much, you, you have to clean it. The other reason why I don't like gutter guards is when you cover an entire gutter, Debris does get in. Somehow there's going to be debris inside and you cannot get your hand in there to clean it. Big problem. If you are in north part of this country, of the USA, you're also going to have ice build up. And especially when you have debris on top of this, the ice will eventually build up on top of this debris. Or during the summer, moss grows and uh, everything grows on this. So. I don't like this. This is the worst type of thing to have because they just get, the sun beats it up and gets flimsy and it breaks down like that. And it, it just, it's really the worst type of thing is this, this little plastic thing. This plastic one, normally the sun would, uh, the UVs will beat this up and it will curl up like this, okay? So this is not good. The metal ones are sturdy, but you cannot get your hand in if you need to clean out the gutter. So let me show you what I, Another one, these are now gutter filters because they sit inside the gutter. And this is like a sponge type of thing. And I've seen how the small debris like this gets inside and plants grow in this. They love this because it keeps moist and the plants grow in the sponge. So this is the worst type of filter. I haven't seen these in gutters, but I can tell you what's going to happen. Let me just show you. Leaves, let me just show you. This gets full of leaves like that, of debris. Um, and you will need, you need to clean this. How are you gonna clean this? It's impossible when debris gets stuck in the leaves and stuff. Very, very bad design. All of these are bad designs in my, in my opinion. Um, even this one, it looks like promising, but it, 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 the, the little holes that I have there gets full of dirt right there. Then we get to a next one. Now, this is a gutter filter. Uh, I don't know the name of it, but I filled, I already had the debris run and you can see water is not barely trickling out here. I want to show you, look at this. This is this thing. So the debris collects in this fine and cannot get through. And it gets, it happens. This is what's happening. Watch this. Okay. Water cannot get through. So let me remove all of this. I'm gonna show you the gutter filter I like. I'm gonna remove this. Okay. I'm removing all of this. Oh, there's another filter that I forgot to show you. This filter. That's a very, very common filter. 
and it's the worst filter to ever put in your gutter. Let me show you how, how it works and why I don't like it, okay? So we're gonna run water there. And look, I barely run water. And look how it fills up. Look how it fills up. Okay? So let me run the water there. And you can see within a few minutes, this clogs up here and water cannot get in there. It will clog and build up like this eventually. And then you run water in this gutter, it will clog up. There's no way that that filter can work. It's the worst thing to do. You're better off not having a filter in a downspout like that. Look how well it, I didn't do anything. Look, it's clog, clogging up, okay? So let, let me show you what I like. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to use the same debris. Let's put it back that way. I'm using the same debris now. This is a Z filter. Z filter by uh, Bergstrom. Watch. I'm going to use one for now. And let's run the debris. Look how the debris flows underneath it. You see that? The small debris gets through. Let me show you. Look, small debris gets through, but the, the bigger debris gets stuck. And let me run more. Run, throw debris on there, let me show you. It always keeps the water flowing, no matter what you do. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw debris on top of it. It doesn't matter what you do, the leaves, the leaves, will not clog it. Watch it. It's flowing. No matter what you do. That's the best type of filter. I'm going to tell you the principle of this. Here's the principle. It's got bigger holes, squares, and it lies flat in the gutter. All it does is it keeps this leaves from clogging this in a bigger area. Look, it's like almost 10 inches long, 11 inches. I'm not sure. But that is the principle. Now, What's even better, you can add. Look at this. I can add more. I can add more. And you can, you can, you, watch how the debris flows there. I want to show you. Look how the debris flows on there. Look. Look. The small debris gets through, but the bigger ones will get stuck here, and it will not stop the gutter. This is unbelievable. Let me show you. I'm gonna throw everything on there. Let me see if I can if I can clog it. I'm gonna try and clog it, okay? Let's clog it. Let's see if we can clog this one. Alright. You can clog this filter then. This is not a good filter. Watch. It cannot clog. I, mean, I can fill it up, doesn't matter. I can put leaves on there. Let me see if I can find leaves. There's leaves. Watch, I'm filling this gutter up with leaves because that's what hope happened most of the time. People don't clean the gutter. And look, the gutter's working. Let me pack it in there. It's working. The gutter is not filling up with water. You can see this. The, the gutter is not filling up with water, especially here. Nothing is happening because the water keeps on flowing underneath the filter there, you can see it there. See how it flows? Let me see if you can see it there. You see there? Watch, you can see it flow there. Watch. Unbelievable. The principle is you want... The leaves can lie on top of this filter for a long time, for all season. All season. But eventually you're going to clean it but it's easy to clean. You just take this out, take this out, you clean your gutter out, and you're okay. I'm just gonna move this back here. I wanna show you another demonstration, how this works. Hold on. Let me show you another demonstration. All right? Watch how this works. Watch the, watch the debris flow. Watch. Watch. The small debris, the small particles that would normally clog all the other filters, flows through. The bigger ones 
get stuck on a top. But fine needles will not clog it. Look at it, all the fine needles there. All right? And then I throw all of this stuff on there. It doesn't matter. And look, it's working. Nothing clogs it. I can, I can try pack it in. I can do whatever you want. It's not, it's not gonna get clogged. I just wanna make it so you can see with the camera. See there? That's how it works. It's just unbelievable filter system. There you go. In my opinion, in my opinion, that's the best gutter filter that you can buy. Yes, you're gonna clean your gutter, but that's once after the season, after the fall season. You don't have to clean it every few days or every week. But what's good about it, the leaves can collect, can collect until you get a chance to clean this gutter out. And then, but you don't have an overflowing gutter. And that will save you a lot in your basement, other costs, all right? I'm the flat roof doctor. I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. Blah, 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 some gutter filters. Very nice, gutter filters.